G'day guys, it's uh, Andrew uh, from the Outdoor Gear Addict and uh, just wanted to introduce you to a super cool little uh, food gathering item that I think everybody should have uh, in their survival kits. Uh, if you're into fishing, uh, these things are super sweet. Uh, if you're into going out and living off the land, uh, these are amazing uh, little functional tools that you, you certainly should have. Um, and let me sort of talk to you about that a little bit more. So um, what this is, this is a mechanical fisher. Um, this sort of kind of came out 20 or 30 years ago and it was pretty popular over in the States, um, but for some reason kind of fell off the radar as, as you know, some good products do. Um, but I tell you what, for a simple invention, this is probably one of the most effective food gathering tools uh, that you can acquire. Um, there's basically a couple of different versions um, of this. There is a stainless steel version, which is this one here, and a non-stainless steel version. So don't get the non-stainless steel version. Um, they're just sort of a little bit more maintenance heavy and they rust up. So, you know, it's just easier to go with these. The, the prices are effectively the same. And, uh, you know, the great thing about these particular tools over here is that, first off, you know, they're, they're super lightweight. Um, you know, they weigh all 53 grams. Uh, which is about uh, 1.9 ounces and um, you know they can easily kind of fit in your pocket so you know you can carry two or three of these or even up to six uh, as I do and if you do that you'll, you'll definitely be eating like a king. Um, but the way they work is, is really really straightforward. Um, effectively this is the actual mechanical fissure, that's how it comes. Uh, so what comes with it um, is a little swivel over here and a little attachment and that attachment would then uh, obviously attached on to your fishing line and your weights and your hook and um, you know if you're using um, as an example you know artificial lures and things like that that they work really really well as well so obviously once that is all connected up there over here uh, you got your line ready that line will then obviously go underneath the water as an example and what you do is you'd set the trap uh, how you'd set the trap is that you'd get a, a piece of string over here first and you tie that piece of string over here to either a low hanging branch or, or even a dock, right? Um, beyond fishing, I have seen these things being used as bird traps, but I have a tendency to uh, not, you know, uh, catch birds because um, I don't know, you know, what they carry as kind of bird diseases and flus and all that sort of type of stuff go. So, um, yeah, uh, not keen on, on, on using it in that function. Uh, but I tell you what, as, as a mechanical fish trap, uh, these things uh, just, they work a treat. Um, so anyway, back to it. So the way that things, these, this particular item works is really straightforward. So there you have the mechanical fissure. It's kind of broken into kind of two areas. You've got a back plate over here and a front plate and a pin and uh, then effectively some stainless steel springs over there, uh, which is uh, basically supports that mechanical function. So what happens is that once you've got the hook in place, all you need to do is pull that out over there, right? You would then sort of put that underneath the water over here and then you'd basically set the little trap over here. So this is the very simple mechanical trigger and what happens is that when the fish is there and it bites on the bait, it then lets go of that trap and then what happens is that the spring system kicks into place and then pulls that fish up for you. So really uh, the great thing about this is that you can set these traps, you can leave them overnight or for how many hours and that'll do all that mechanical fishing for you and uh, as long as you obviously don't um, basically uh, pull the fish out of the water so always make sure that you're you're setting the trap so the fish is always below the water line just there and in that way it's not going to spoil yep so all you have to do is set that and voila there you go you know one of the best little food gathering slash survival items out there on the market you know all for basically between three and five dollars um, if you've never seen one of these before uh, if you've never played with one of these before uh, and you do go out and you do like uh, camping next to a river or you just like fishing and, and gathering some of your own foods this product is absolutely highly recommended uh, check it out uh, if you like them you can buy them from our support store uh, the link is just down the bottom over there. Uh, if you like the product, uh, you can just hit subscribe and that would be appreciated. Thanks very much.